Hey guys! Welcome back to Easy Science with Teacher Jenny. Today, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa levels of biological organization. Here are the terms to remember. Cell, tissue, organ, organ system, organism, population, community, ecosystem, biome, and biosphere. Discuss natin lahat yan. Let's start with the cell. The cell is the smallest independent functional unit of a living organism. A cell can regulate its internal environment, take in and use energy, respond to its environment, and develop and maintain its complex organization. All organisms are composed of cells. Your body is composed of trillions of cells of many different kinds. Next is tissue. Tissue is made of cells that are similar in structure and functions. Examples of tissues are muscle tissue, blood tissue, and neural tissue. Organ. An organ is a system of tissues that work together on a larger scale to do certain jobs within an animal's body. Examples of organs are the brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, and the skin. Next is organ system. An organ system is a group of of organs that work together to perform specific bodily functions. Some examples of organ systems are respiratory system, digestive system, and circulatory system. Next is organism. An organism is an individual living thing that may be made up of one or more organ systems that carries out all the basic life functions. Organisms can be unicellular organisms such as bacteria and amoeba. Multicellular organisms comprise of organs and organ systems. A human being is an example of a multicellular organism. Another example are plant, fish, and cat. Okay, so let's recap. A cell is the smallest unit of the organization. Cells working together form tissue. Tissues working together form an organ. An organ forms with other organs form organ system. And organ systems make up the organism. But wait, there's more. Let's now go to the higher level of biological organization. The next is population. A population is a group of multiple organisms of the same species within a specific area. For example, a school of tilapia fish in Santana Lake. So in populations, multiple organisms same species in the same area. Next is community. A community cons is consists of all the different species within a certain area. For example, species of fish, species of plants, and it is contained in a certain area, which is the pond. Next is the ecosystem. An ecosystem is made up of all the communities in a certain area, as well as all the non-living physical components of the environment. So, ecosystem kasama ang living and non-living things. Rocks, water, and dirt are a part of an ecosystem. Biome Biome is a major community of plants and animals with similar life forms and environmental conditions. 
biomes are largely based on the geography and climate of a region. Some examples of biomes are tundra, forest, desert, um, grasslands, etc. Biosphere The biosphere is all the ecosystems on Earth added together. Every animal, plant, bacteria, rock, and molecule is a part of Earth's biosphere. So from, from organism, next level is population, then community, then ecosystem, then biome, and the last is biosphere. To summarize, let's look at the spectrum of the biological organization. So again, let's start from the cell, then tissue, organ, organ system, organism, population, community, ecosystem, biome, and biosphere. So this is the order or level of biological organization. So hindi siya pwedeng mauna ang ecosystem sa cell. It has to be in order. Okay? Well, I hope you will see this video in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and find and like our Facebook account, Easy Science with Teacher Chen. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.